I'm grateful to be with you for Central Moments again today. Hope, uh, hope this will be or has been a good day for you with God's grace. We walk every day with him. Uh, last week we looked at John 15 as Jesus gathered around spending the last evening with his disciples before he's crucified. And uh, I'd like to continue on in the next chapter, chapter 16, as we all approach the celebration of Easter. And in verse 1 of chapter 16, Jesus says, All this I have told you so that you will not fall away. I just find that a starkly striking comment. We are seeing people fall away. We are seeing people deconstructing their faith. We are seeing people um, who have grown up in church and then went through COVID, got used to just watching online. And now I hear stories, well, we don't even watch online anymore. There's been a lot of spiritual drift. There's been a lot of, uh, a lot of crisis. People saying, well, science now doesn't let me believe in the Bible. And there are all kinds of excuses for falling away. It's possible to fall away. And Jesus said, I'm speaking these things to you. I'm loving you enough to give you a heads up, uh, to tell you the truth. And it's a wonderful gift to have people like that in our lives. And here's Jesus being that kind of person with his disciples. He said, I've told you these things so that you will not fall away. And I just want to say none of us needs to fall away. Sometimes for the disciples, this is going to be because because it's going to hurt to follow Jesus. They're going to get persecuted. He will say in the very next verse, they will put you out of the synagogue. In fact, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think they're doing a service to God. They think they're on God's side by getting rid of you. It's going to get tough. I think of the apostle Paul, who when he was Saul, was just zealous to kill Christians, thinking he was doing God a favor. And uh, he said, they're going to get it very wrong about me. And so they're going to get it very wrong about you. But I'm telling you, uh, I'm telling you this ahead of time so you don't fall away. Sometimes persecution makes us fall away. Sometimes just, just being surrounded with the spirit of the world. Because in the next verse, Jesus said, they will do such things because they have not known the Father or me. Social media is full of people who don't know the Heavenly Father. The entertainment media is full of people who don't know the Heavenly Father. We, we live in a world who largely does not know the Heavenly Father, and it begins to wear us down. I mean, it, it just works against our spirits. We're constantly trying to focus and live with hearts on fire for God, and yet we've got a world that, that, that we live in and we're exposed to all the time that does not know God. Sometimes it wears our spirits down more than Jesus' spirit lights our spirits up. And so he said, I'm telling you these things so that, so that you will know ahead of time and you will not fall away. I don't want you to fall away. You don't have to fall away. And, and then the next verse, I have told you this so that when their time comes, you will remember I warned you about them. Like when they come to try to kill you, when they come to... to to, to try to give you a very different view of the world and where your affections ought to go than, than I'm giving you. He said, I'm, I'm telling you so that when their time comes, you will remember that I warned you about them. I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. And they, they, of course, as we will see in the next verses, couldn't figure that one out. But Jesus would die. He'd ascend into heaven, send us his spirit. But he says, I'm not going to be with you. I, and I didn't unload all this stuff on you when I first asked you to come follow me three years ago. But, um, but I'm telling you now that uh, your lives are going to be at risk. It's going to be hard to follow me. But you don't need to fall away. Our Father, we thank you that you love us and have called us. And I just pray you'll protect us. I pray you'll give us hearts that will not fall away. And I pray, God, that you will touch some friends of ours and some children even of ours or grandchildren that have fallen away. We just pray, or parents that, Lord, we knew when they were on fire for the Lord and, and we're trying to serve you, but our parents have just drifted. They've grown cold spiritually. My God, we pray that you will intervene in their lives. And will you speak that word afresh to us? that we do not need to fall away. Give us strength. Give us courage in the spiritual battle. Let us prevail. And when the day you come again, let us be ready with our hearts alive to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.